Good morning, everybody, and welcome to e the easier activity for maths for Thursday, the 21st of January. Now, today you aren't going to need your tens and ones because your sheet, which is going to look like this, is already going to have all of the tens and ones drawn on for you. Okay, so you're not going to need yours because it's going to be drawn on for you. But I wanted to explain exactly what you were going to do. Now, here, I have got my sums already drawn out with their tens and ones. So I've got four, add two. Oh, let me just put my add sign back in. It's come off a little bit. Four, add two equals. Now, as you can see, I've got no tens in four and no tens in two. So I have got four ones under four and two ones under two. So how you can tell me what we're going to do here? What do you think we're going to have to do here? Try and think about what you had to do yesterday using your tens and ones. Brilliant. We're going to have to add all of the ones together. So I'm going to start. So I'm going, now I'm going to cross each one off. And this is exactly what you're going to do on your sheet. You're going to cross them off too. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, what was the answer to my sum then? 4 add 2 equals... Excellent, 6. So I'm going to write 6 next to the equals. Let's have a look at another one. So here I have got 3 add 6 equals. And as you can already see, I have got my 10s and 1s already drawn. Now I haven't got any 10s because... Three is a one-digit number, so I only have ones. And the same with six. It's a one-digit number, so we only have one. So I've got no tens in this sum. I've only got ones. And as you can see, I've got three ones under three and six ones under six. So now, can you remember what we're going to have to do this time? Excellent work. We're going to have to add them all up. Are you ready to help count with me? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three add six equals nine. Can you remember where I have to put that answer? Super deep. I have to put it next to the equals. Now, I don't need to leave a little gap because I haven't got any tens. I only have the ones. So three add six equals nine. Okay, and you're going to have some sums with a one digit and a one digit on your sheet, but you're also going to have some sums with a two digit and a one digit on it as well. So here I've got 12 add 7. And as you can see, the number 12, I've got my two ones underneath the two because that's the ones number. And I've got my long stick of 10 under the 110 because it's a two digit number. And in seven, I haven't got any ten, so I've got no sticks of ten drawn, but I have seven ones, so I've done seven ones underneath. Now, who can remind me, what do we add first? Do we add the tens first, or do we always add the ones first? Excellent, remembering everybody, we add the ones first, so let's have a go at that together. So I'm going to start with my twelve, and I'm going to only add the ones. Are you ready? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I'm going to write my nine here, but I'm going to leave a little gap because I know I've got some tens I've got to add together. And tens always go before the ones. The ones is always the last number. So I'm going to write my nine there, just like that. Now I've added all the ones together, what do I have to add together now? X and I have to add the ten. So let's have a look. I've got one ten. Cross it off, but no other one. So what's the answer? One ten. Well done. Now who can remember what I've just said about where the ten goes? Does it go before the ones or after the ones? Excellent. It goes before the ones. Ten always comes before the ones, and the ones is always the last number. Right. Let's have a look at another one, shall we? So here I've got 14 add 3. And I've got, if we're looking at 14, underneath my 1s, which one's the 1s? Is it this number or this number? Excellent. It's the 4. 14 has 4 1s. And we know because in 
any number, the ones is always the last number. So let's have a look. I've got four ones underneath four, and I've got my nice long stick of 10 underneath the one 10 in 14. And then if I look at three, I've got zero 10, so I've got no 10s here. But I have got three ones, and I've got here, let me check, one, two, three. Excellent. So who can remind me what have I got to add first? Brilliant. I have to add the ones first. Well done. So let's have a go at that, shall we? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven ones. So remember, I'm going to leave a little gap for my tens because the ones is always the last number. Tens always come by first before the one. Brilliant. What have I got to add now? Excellent. I've got to add my tens. Are you ready? Let's have a go together. One ten. Have I got any on this side? Nope. So I've only got one ten. So I'm going to put that here before the one. So what number have I made? Excellent. I have made 17. We don't say one ten seven ones. We say the number is 17. Right then. Now, on your sheet, there's also a few trickier ones. And they look like this. They might be two digit, add a two digit number. So here I have 25, add 31. So let's look at 25 first. So here I have five ones. So I'm going to check I've got five underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And then I have two tens. I have 20, two tens. So I'm going to check there's two tens. One, two. Let's have a look at this one then. Can you check for me how many ones I should have? Excellent. I should have one one, which I've got here. And then can you tell me how many tens I should have underneath 30? Brilliant. I should have three tens. One, two, three. Excellent work. So, again, can you tell me... What number we add first? Do we add the tens first or do we add the ones first? Awesome work. We add the ones first. So which ones are the ones on this side? Is it the two or the five? Excellent. It's the five. And then what are the ones on this number? Brilliant. The one. Let's get counting then, shall we? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six ones all together. So remember, I'm going to leave my little gap for my tens. And then let's have a look at my tens now then. So I've added all my ones up. So I only have to worry about my tens now. So ready? One ten. You can count in tens. Two tens. Three tens. Four tens. Five tens. Where does that five tens need to go? Brilliant in this little gap because the tens always goes before the ones. So what is the answer to my sum? Fabulous work. It is 56. Let's have a look at a last example together. So here I have 21 add 47. So I'm going to look at 21 first. I'm going to check all of, I've got the right tens and ones under each number. So underneath my one, one, I have one, little one. And underneath my tens, I have two sticks of ten. Can you check this one for me? How many ones should I have? Brilliant. I should have seven little ones underneath the seven because seven is the ones number. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And can you tell me how many tens I should have underneath the four? Well done. I should have four tens. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Right. What do we need to add first? The ones or the tens? Brilliant. We need to add the ones. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many ones do I have all together? Excellent. I have eight ones. So I'm going to draw my eight. Gonna leave my gap for my tens. Now then, what do we need to work out now? Because I haven't quite finished this sum. 
Wonderful. I have to check how many tens I have. Are you ready? One ten, two tens, you could say twenty, three tens, which is thirty, four tens, which is forty, five tens, which is fifty, six tens, which is sixty. So I had six tens. Where does that need to go? Before the eight ones or after the eight ones? Excellent. Before the eight ones, just here. Okay. Now, like my whiteboard has, your sheet, as I showed you earlier, has got all of the tens and ones drawn on them for you. So your job is going to be to add all of the ones up first on each one, then all of the tens, and then you will need to write the answer on your sheet. Okay, and when you finish doing your sheet, make sure you do send it in to your class teacher so that we can have a look at it by sending it to our email. But I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see all of the hard work that you've been doing at home. Bye everybody!